Ticks are a very big challenge to farmers because they transmit diseases like girl sickness and sweating disease. The ant tick vaccine has come as a relief to farmers as they lose at least 3.8 trillion shillings due to tick diseases annually. In order to stimulate immunity against ticks, such that even when the ticks affect our animals, they are already protected and they are already immune to tolerate and to withstand the dangers of the diseases spread by the, the ticks. So with this vaccine, we shall be able, one, to reduce the tick burden and tick population in this country, such that we are able to address or reduce the tick and the uh, the, the economic losses as a result of tick and tick bone disease. The vaccine is so far 88% and will be finally rolled out within one year. The Minister for Agriculture and More Industry and Fisheries, Frank Tumwebaze, says that it will be launched thereafter. I want to assure you, DG, this is an achievement I cannot even celebrate alone. I will ask the entire cabinet to come and be available on that day, headed by the president. So soon I will get back to you to tell you when we shall do these final launches. Relatedly, the National Agricultural Research Organization has embarked on the use of in vitro fertilization technology to improve accessibility and quality of animal breeds. Now when we harvest those 100 eggs from that cow, we take those eggs to our laboratory and then fertilize them with the high quality semen from a bull and then be able to produce 100 embryo and be able to implant them into different farmers animals such that different farmers can have access to these high quality animals. Local production of embryos reduces cost compared to importation. We are now rolling them out to farmers at a cost of 100 US dollars, presenting a saving to a farmer of around 300, 400 US dollars per embryo. Tumwebaze implored Naro to set a center for excellence where farmers can camp at the facility to get practical knowledge to enable them and better. Miriam Womcha and Joseph Muingo, UBC News. Okay. So how about the